It's about time! All right, man, this is a long time coming. We waited for a really long time to do this LG tower wash machine. All right, so we're gonna focus on the function and the features on this unit, and we're gonna talk about all the things that it can do on this particular wash machine. All right, so let's dive into that real quick to see what we're actually getting. All right, so this is, of course, the black steel, or you can get it in white. Laundry center has the dryer up top and the washer at the bottom, it's an all-in-one unit, when you, as you can see here as well. So what we're gonna dive into is just a couple of things that describes the wash machine as far as sorting laundry. So we're gonna read a couple of things here to get us started. Caution, it says clothing or articles that are waterproof or water resistant must be washed in waterproof, bedding, bulky slash large or jumbo wash cycles. Examples include with water resistant clothing, mattress covers, outdoor clothes and plastic mats. Failure to do so may result in personal injury or damage to the washer, clothes, walls, floors, and surrounding objects due to abnormal vibrations. All right, so you wanna keep that in mind as well. Remove the stuffing from pillows and cushions before washing the covers. Failure to do so can cause excessive vibration, resulting in damage to the washer, clothes, nearby objects, walls, and floor. All right, so let's go into grouping similar items for the best washing results. Add to the re add to reduce the possibility of damage to clothing. Sort clothing into loads made up of similar items. Mixing different fabric types and or soil levels can result in poor wash performance. Color transfer, discoloration, fabric damage, or linting. Fabric should be sorted into groups as described below. You got, of course, these are the groups that you can sort your clothes in. Like I said, a lot of these appliances are a lot smarter. They're real, they're real specific in exactly what it is that needs to get done. All right, so of course you can sort it by colors, um, sort articles by color, wash dark clothes separately from light clothes or whites. Mixing dark clothes with light clothes can result in dye transfer or discoloration of the lighter clothes. We all understand that. You have soiled levels, wash heavily soiled clothing together. Washing lightly soiled clothing in the same load with the heavy soiled clothing could result in poor wash performance for the lightly soiled clothing. All right, so you gotta think about that. Fabric type, delicate articles should be mixed with, uh, should not be mixed with heavy or sturdy fabric types. Washing heavy fabrics with delicates can result in poor wash performance for the heavy fabrics and possible damage to the delicates. All right, lint type. It says some fabrics attract and bind lint to them while others give off lint in the laundry process. Avoid mixing these lint collectors and lint producers in the same load. Mixing these fabrics will result in piling and linting on the lint collectors it says for example and all that stuff as well so you can see that so if you want to pause it you can do that as well and again these are the different categories where it says how to sort your laundry by colors by soil by fabric by lint all right so like i said these machines are really smarter so you got to keep that in mind and of course you have your fabric care and labels as well so we're going to allow the video to roll so that we can dissect this joint man again this is the lg laundry center the uh, wash tower all right so it's really nice really i like the way it is so of course that's the power button i don't want to go too fast on this video let me go back a little bit that's the power button to activate the machine of course you have one for the dryer when we went into the store we weren't able to activate the dryer but we were able to activate the actual wash machine all right so we're going to dive into some of the features there as well as we dissect this owner's manual um, operation washer all right so you have categories for the washing machine you have symbols and labels and directions all right so these are some of the symbols and labels that you're going to see for hand wash you have a machine wash you have a normal cycle you have permanent press and wrinkle resistance setting which has a cool down or cold spray before the slower spin you have a gentle slash delicate setting of course we talked about a little bit there do not wash do not ring of course you have hot 
for the um so that's the washing then we got wash temperature you've got hot warm cold slash cool you have bleach symbols so went as well any bleach when needed only non chloride chlorine chlorine bleach when needed or do not bleach all right so that's some of the symbols that you see there as well um, loading the washer we can get into that a little bit but we're not going to do that right now one of the things of course um, with this machine we're going to go into the dispenser as well so that's another portion of that video all right so we're going to focus really i want to get to the control panel so i'm gonna let that roll again so you can actually see that of course you have your different cycle settings that you can use there as well you can see that on the video that we have it's a direct drive motor so we're just going to stop the video there and dive into the control panel features for the washer all right so as for as far as the wash machine we talked about the power on and off button two this is where your cycles are you have normal heavy duty bedding speed wash delicates and a downloaded cycle we can download cycle as well that's famous for lg i think samsung has incorporated that on one of their machines as well samsung and lg are quite similar so you might look at one and they look exactly the same all right so of course you have number four that deals with your cycle modifier buttons all right so you can talk about the the temperature you have your spin you have your soil you also have a wi-fi button let me zoom in a little bit there um, that you can connect this machine to a Wi-Fi. It's a smart appliance. You can remote start or remote activate this appliance as well. You have your control lock. You also have a steam setting, right? So this is steam cycle. You have your turbo wash. You have tub clean, um, extra rinse, pre-wash, and of course you have your drum light and your signal. All right, and of course the indication here is just your start button, how you activate start slash pause button there as well. And you can, of course, where it says hold three seconds and that's where all the stars are when you hold that to activate that portion of the machine all right so another thing that we can actually dive into as well is of course where it says time status and display all right so you have your wi-fi connect and this is what it looks like your typical wi-fi button you also have your remote start indicator all right it says this indicator lights up when the remote start feature is activated we like that number six that is your, um, your AIDI, AIDD indicator. It says this feature offers optimized washing by detecting the load size and laundry characteristics. The indicator lights up when the normal cycle is selected with the warm wash temperature setting. All right, it says the AIDD functionality may vary depending on environmental environment and model. All right, so that's cool there. All right, number seven talks about the cycle status indicator it says this led will blink when a cycle is selected to indicate which stage will run when a cycle is running the led for the active stage will blink and the leds for the remaining stage will remain steady once the stage is complete the led will turn off if a cycle is paused the active stage led will stop blinking all right so I just want to make sure that we talk about everything that they have there as well. Number three, of course, is your door lock indicator, letting you know the door is locked. Number four is your signal indicator. All right, this is the, the indicator light lights up when the end of cycle and button tones are turned on. All right, and it says the indicator lock. So let you know when the door is locked and when it's unlocked. All right, so you can read that and see that as well. All right, so we want to allow the video to roll so we can dissect this joint, man, and get into this joint. All right, so this is me pressing on the different cycles, different settings. So what we can probably do right now, as you can see how it's working, is go into a lot of the cycle settings. All right, so I'm going to dive into that real quick. That's on page 18. All right, so wash cycles. It says the wash cycles are designed to specify types of wash loads. Select the cycle that best matches the load content for maximum wash performance and fabric care. It says see sorting laundry section for best results and follow the fabric care labels on your garments. This is for a guide to fabric care symbols. See sorting laundry section. All right, so we have the cycle guide. It says turn the knob or press the button to select the desired cycle. When you select a wash cycle, the light for the corresponding wash cycle will turn on. Note, whenever load weights are mentioned, assumed one pound, one thick bath towel, uh, one thick bath towel dry. All right, 
So when we're looking at the different temperatures, of course, we talk about you have your hot, right? Um, you have a very warm, warm, cool, and cold. All right, of course, for your spin, you have high, medium, high, medium, and low, or no spin. So you have heavy, moderate, normal, limited, and light. All right, so let's go into the cycle description. It says normal. It says used to wash all normal items such as cottons, linens, shirts, jeans, or mixed loads except for delicate fabrics such as wool or silk. All right, pressing the start button without selecting a cycle will cause the normal cycle to begin immediately using the default setting. All right. So we have wash type, of course, it gives you the default settings for the speed, the water temperature, and the soil as well. But you can also have an adjustments that you can use depending on the speed. Um, soil level available all um, default as far as the, uh, the wash temperatures all as well. All right, let's go into bedding. So this is one of the heavier cycles that we recommend that a lot of customers use according to what we already read in the owner's manual. You want to make sure that you use it according to what is recommended. All right, bedding. All right, suitable for washing blankets, bulky items, which have difficulty absorbing water, such as pillows, blankets, comforters, sheets, or bed or pet bedding. All right. So you want to make sure you use those cycles. Do not use a normal cycle and you have a comforter set in there. That's not how that's going to work. It says do not use this cycle to wash a mixed load of bedding and non bedding items. All right. You have to think about that. All right. So you don't want to put different or mixed clothes, mixed loads inside the washing machine because it's not going to work properly. All right. I see that a lot. Do not mix large bulky items with smaller articles of clothing. All right. Do not wash excessive large items if large or bulky items do not fit easily into the tub. There may not be enough room for them to move during washing. That's how stuff don't get clean because wash machines are being overloaded. All right, so you want to consider that. And of course, you have your default settings that you can use as well. You can always pause that. Delicates is another one. Of course, that's pretty simple and easy. Suitable for washing dress, shirts, blouses, nylons, lingerie, sheer, and lacy clothes which can easily be damaged all right so it also has the default settings that you can use for that as well all right so we like that normal um delicates that's the delicates here the soil you have heavy duty all right it's a suitable for washing heavy soil laundry such as cotton fabrics using more powerful wash motions when using large loads there will be uh, brief periods of two minutes or more without agitation their soak periods are part of the cycle design and are normal, all right? So you want to consider that. Again, if a lot of people will probably will go to the heavy duty if they're putting um, their lawn, they're putting comforters and stuff in there. But like I said, I wouldn't use the heavy duty for that. I will use the bedding, all right? Use the bedding for that. That's bigger, that's stronger, all right? So I'll use that. You have a speed wash as well. Quickly washes, lightly soiled clothing and small loads for high wash and rinse efficiency wash small loads for two to three lightly soiled garments all right it says use very very little detergent in the cycle to add an extra rinse use the extra rinse option and of course you have default settings downloaded rinse and spin it says use a smartphone to download a specialized cycle to use this position the default cycle cycle is rinse and spin spin this cycle is also available for download refer for the lg thinq application to see the cycles available for download all right so you can use that then you have different options the option is automatically included in the cycle and cannot be deselected if the turbo wash option is on you cannot set the spin level to no spin all right so this is what this is all about normal cycles bedding steam turbo wash extra rinse and pre-wash all right so we like that there operations here go another cycle steam turbo wash extra rinse pre-wash and you have downloaded cycle there as well all right so we talked about a lot of that as well cycle modifications about modifying buttons all right each cycle has default settings we discussed that that are selected automatically you can also customize these settings using the cycle modifier buttons repeatedly press the button for the desired modified modify until the indicated light for the desired setting is lit the washer automatically adjusts the water level for the type and size of wash loads for best results all right maximize efficiency this is a high efficiency washer and the washer levels may be much lower 
than you expect. All right, the water levels may be much lower than you expect. This is normal, and cleaning and rinsing performance will not be compromised. All right, so they say. <laughs> so they say. I just like water in my machine, man. So, um, no LED next to the setting lights lights up when the setting is selected to protect your garments. Not very. Um, not every wash temperature, spin speed, soil level, or option is available with every cycle. All right, so you want to think about that. Your temperatures. Make sure that the wash temperature is suitable for the type of load for the type of load you are washing. All right. So it says, of course, press the temperature button repeatedly. To select the wash and rinse temperature combination for the selected cycle. All right. All rinses uses unheated cold water. All right. Your machine always rinses in cold. Cold rinses use less energy. All right. So that's one. High speed, extra. Um, it says high higher speed. Ex, um, higher spin speed extract more water from clothes reducing drying time and saving energy all right so press the spin speed button repeatedly until the desired speed is selected all right that's cool there so you have you have your soil adjusting the soil level setting with modifying the cycle times and or wash options we talked about that options and extra functions you said your wash includes several additional cycle options to customize cycles to meet your individual needs it says select the desired option after selecting the desired setting um, desired cycle settings all right special cycles you have sanitary it says this cycle washes clothes at high temperatures you have your tub clean it says this is a special cycle designed to clean the inside of the washer and of course this machine is a steam cycle adding this option to a wash cycle helps provide superior cleaning performance using Steam gives fabric the cleaning benefits of a very hot wash. Steam may not be um, clearly visible during a steam cycle. This is normal. Too much steam could damage clothing. Do not use steam with delicate fabrics such as wool, silk, or easily discolored fabrics. All right, so that's cool there. Um, turbo wash. All right, so some of these we can actually just go into real quick. Adding this option reduce the cycle time while still performing similar wash performance to the same cycle without turbo wash. This option cannot be used with all cycles. This option defaults to a normal and heavy duty wash cycle. Extra rinse, we already talked about extra rinse, is just adding an extra rinse. All right, using the pre wash option, this option adds a pre wash for about 15 to 17 minutes for improved cleaning or heavily soiled or stained clothing. All right, note if you select pre wash after putting the detergent directly in the drum, the detergent may be washed away, reducing the washing performance. All right, we talked about control lock. It says use this function to disable the controls. This function can prevent children from changing cycles while operating the machine. All right, no, the function does not lock the door. All right, so you want to keep that in mind. Um, all right, so we talked about locking and unlocking the control panel. Signal, washer plays the melody when the wash cycle is finished. A lot of LG, Samsung product does that and other appliances are adapting that as well. Um, drum light, the drum light is equipped with a white LED light that illuminates when the washer is turned on. The light automatically turns off when the door is closed and the cycle starts. All right, machines are now having lights so you can actually see inside the, the actual machine. All right, this is the drum light will turn off automatically after four minutes. Press and hold the pre-wash button for three seconds during the cycle to turn on the drum light. So you don't have to open the door to find out what's going on. Hold that pre-wash button for three seconds. The light comes on so you can actually see. So it's like your oven. All right, same exact thing. All right, so we're going to allow the video to roll because we're going too far. We're into the dryer now. So we just got to let this joint rock. All right, so we talked about a lot of the things that you can see here on the wash machine. Me pressing the buttons and trying to see what will work. Of course, you're going to dive into the dryer. Right, so we like that. Um, this is the dryer and the dryer drum. This is a steam dryer. You can see the steam there, right in the metal piece here. This is your vent that allows the heat to come into the dryer there as well. So you want to be able to use that. And this is the actual dryer drum. So we're going to dive into the actual dryer a little bit here. Um, let me go back. I went too far now. I'm going to go back into the dryer. All right, that's good. We can leave it there. So we can go into the dryer, all right? All right, so it's teaching you how to operate the dryer, stuff like that, you can see that. All this stuff is gonna be in the owner's manual. We can talk about some of the symbols. 
um, grouping similar items for the best drying results and to reduce the possible possibility of damage to clothing so it clothes into the loads that can be dried with the same drying cycle different fabrics have different care requirements and some fabrics will dry more quickly than others all right wooden items wooling items allows uh, uh, always follow fabric care labels before drying woolen items in a dryer after the cycle the items may still be damped all right do not repeat the cycle pull the items to their their original shape if they if needed and lay them flat to finish drying all right wooden and loop knit materials permanent press and synthetics baby clothes and nightgowns rubber and plastic it says do not dry any items made from a containing containing rubber or plastic such as aprons bibs and chair covers uh, curtains and tablecloths bath mats all right because it's going to melt it fiberglass do not dry fiberglass articles in your dryer glass particles left in the dryer could be picked up by your clothes the next time you use the dryer irritate your skin um, fabric care labels sort and dry laundry clothing according to care labels size and fabric stuff and fabric type all right so of course you have different symbols here um fabric care labels right so you have your tumbling dry your label dry normal permanent press gentle do not tumble dry do not dry use with do not wash all right so you have that there you have your different heat settings your label directions you have high medium low and no heat or air dry all right so that's what that is of course this is the panel to the actual dryer again like i stated the dryer panel did not come on but of course you have your power button like you do the wash machine somewhat similar there you have your normal heavy bedding small load delicates and of course you can download cycles you have your temperature settings your dry level your time dry which is like normally your manual cycle again we discussed this is a steam dryer we can do the steam fresh you have energy saver wrinkle care reduce static your signal your drum light, you have your control lock, your remote start, Wi-Fi on the dryer as well, and on the wash machine. And of course, this is your um, your your digital display there as well. So some of the buttons are somewhat similar. You have your start and pause button there as well, so you are able to see that. All right, cycle modifier button. Press this button to select additional cycles. Press and hold any button marked with the asterisk for three seconds to activate a special function. All right, so we discussed that extra options and functions remote start wi-fi and of course this has the lg thin q application where you can communicate with the app all right so we talked about that early in the wash machine of course is the time and status display wi-fi indicator remote start flow sense indicator it says the flow sense duck and it's one of the awesome things that we like about these smart appliances they can sense when your actual dry vent is clogged up all right so it would tell you that it says the flow sense duct blockage sensor system detects and alerts you to blockage in the duct work that reduce exhaust flow from the dryer. Maintaining a clean exhaust system improves operating efficiency and helps minimize service costs, saving you money. All right, so there's times when you look at it, number three here. This is your indicator to let you know if the, if the dryer thinks your vent is clogged up. Of course, when it's at the maximum, that looks like about four or five levels there. So if that's at, at its maximum as far as the um the lines at either four or five that means it's fully clogged up and you need to get that um, checked out all right so again the machines are smart enough to do that the ai sensor dry indicator all right it says this feature optimized drying times and temperatures by detecting the laundry characteristics the indicator lights when the normal cycle is selected with the normal dry level except when the energy saver option is turned on all right um, lint filter status indicator telling you that as well lights up at the beginning of the cycle to remind you to check the lint filter it also lights up if the lint filter needs to be cleansed or is missing all right dang that's pretty dope the lint filter is missing okay um, cycle indicator a uh, cycle status indicator lights up when the appliance in the drying stage lights up when the appliance is cooled down stage all right so of course you have different settings normal bedding delicates all right, so these cycle descriptions, normal user cycle for drying all normal items such as cottons, linen, shirts, jeans, or, or mixed loads, except delicate fabrics such as wool or silk. All right, so we discussed that in the wash machine. Your bedding, of course, this is for blankets, pillows, comforters, sheets, pet bedding, and it has default settings as well. Delicates for nylons, lingerie, sheer, lacy clothes, stuff like that as well. 
heavy. It says use this cycle for drying heavy duty clothes like jeans and garments that need extra drying. Small loads, it says use this cycle for drying lights or small items up to three items. That's it. All right, downloaded permanent press. It says use a smartphone to download a specialized cycle to this cycle option. The default cycle is permanent press. This cycle is also available for download. Refer to the LG ThinQ app to see the cycles available for download. All right, cool. And of course, you have the energy saver option. All right, it's set to the default. And it says, if you turn on the dryer and set the energy saver option to off, the energy saver option is turned off when your dryer when you, you turn on a dryer all right so you have different cycles for the steam wrinkle care reduce static energy saver all the cycles there as well all right and then of course we talked about a lot of this stuff already with the steam adding steam option to a dry cycle helps reduce wrinkles and odors in fabrics all right temperature settings here use the bot the button to adjust the temperature setting this allowed precise care of fabrics and garments press the temperature button repeatedly to scroll through available settings all right, that's cool there. Dry level, use this button to select the dryness level for the cycle. Press the dry level button repeatedly to scroll through available settings. All right, so you have more or vary will increase the cycle time, while, while less or damp will decrease the time. Use less or damp setting for items. Steam fresh, this cycle use the power of steam to quickly reduce wrinkles and odors in fabrics. It brings new life to wrinkled clothes that have been stored for an extended time and makes Heavily wrinkled clothes easier to iron. It can also be used to help reduce odors in fabrics. Your time dries mostly like your manual setting. Right, it says use this button to manually select the drying time from 20 to 60 minutes in 10 minutes increments. Use this for small loads or to remove wrinkles. All right, options and function um, and extra functions as well. You have that there. Um, so that's another option there. Um, steam, do not use steam fresh items with such as wool, blankets, leather, jackets, silk, web clothes, lingerie, foam products, or electrical blankets. Wrinkle care, it says the wrinkle kit, uh, it says selecting this option will turn the load periodically up to three hours after the selected cycle or until the door is open. This is helpful in preventing wrinkles when you are unable to remove items from the dryer immediately. Press the wrinkle care button before you start drying cycle. All right, and of course you have your signal and unlocking the control panel. Reduce static. This option injects steam light late in the drying cycle to reduce the static electric electricity caused by dry fabrics rubbing together. All right, energy saver. We talk about that. Yeah, this is this option helps to reduce the energy consumption of a normal cycle depending on the load size when the energy saver option is selected. This is the cycle options with an air dry. Uh, section and the dry time is increased all right so we like that there control lock it says use this option to dis disable the controls all right so that's what it is and then of course you have the light and of course you also have the thin queue application you can see that as well we can communicate remote start download cloud size tub clean venting tips energy monitoring smart diagnostic push alerts settings so you have a lot of things you can do with communicate with the appliance, the laundry, or the washing machine when we're talking about the LG ThinQ app. All right, cool. All right, so let's go back into um, the actual video. Let's rock. We talk about a lot of stuff that this dryer has. This whole entire washing machine, this laundry center has a lot that you can actually do with it. All right, we love the way the door look, looks. I said look. I like the way the door looks with looks with the glass, right? It's real sleek, real nice. Of course, you're gonna go into the actual washing machine. Of course, this is your inner drum. You see the door boot seal, the gray gasket that goes around. You want to make sure that you actually clean this. Um, I would say every three to um, I would say every month. You want to clean it with mostly a mixture of bleach and water, but you want to dilute the bleach because the bleach is extremely strong. We have a video that we can actually show you that we can attach to this as well so that you can actually see exactly um, how to really clean the um, door boot seal or the, or the gasket. All right, so we're going to talk about loading the washing machine because that's a big thing when you're dealing with the front loader. So we're going to go into that. We're going to go all the way back up to where we started from um, to really get some insight and really knowing how to really load the machine. All right, because that's that's huge. That's big. 
All right, it says loading the washer. It says warning, clothing or articles that are waterproof or waterproof resistance must be washed. And so we talked about that a little bit as well already. So you guys know that, you can see that. General tips, check and empty pockets. Man, that's, yeah, that's a real good tip. Paper clips, coins, matches, etc. Damaged clothing and the washer. Close zippers and hooks and tie drawstrings to prevent snagging or tagging of clothes. You want to be able to do that as well. Pre-treat heavily stained or areas for best result. Brush off heavily soil, dust, and hair from items before washing. Excess dirt or sand can abrade other fabrics and lead to poor washing performance. All right, so it says for the for the best performance, load clothes as shown. All right, so when you see it there, this is how you actually load your washing machine. It says do not press down on items while stacking them in the drum. Load clothes loosely and do not overfill the drum. Clothes need room to circulate in order to get clean. Right, you just don't want to take them up and just dump them in there. I see a lot of that. That's why your clothes are not getting clean. That's why the machine is banging all over the place. Cause it's, it's no way for the clothes to move around loosely. They have to move around loosely. All right. Um, combine large and small items in the drum. Load, lo load large items first. Large items should not be more than half of the total load. All right. The washer can be fully loaded, but the drum should not be tightly packed with items. The door of the washer must be closed easily. The washer will not fill or operate with the door open. All right, so we talked about that. Bulky item, wash thick, bulky items individually. Heavy blankets, comforters, bed spreads, or pet pet beds that can, can that can be tangled or cause an unbalanced load if combined with other items. All right, so we like that there. All right, small items, right? Do not wash a single small item. Add enough similar items to the load to prevent an out of balance load. People think that because you put, I've seen where we, I've put one towel in a washing machine and that washing machine was banging all over the place as if I put 30 towels in there because it's unbalanced. It's not even, again, it's about what's in it and it's all about how the wash, the clothes absorb a lot of the water. And if it's unbalanced and it's a towel and it's absorbing a lot of the water, it's gonna allow your machine to spin erratically. So you wanna keep that in mind. Wash small items. Wash small light items in a mesh bag. You can use that because um, you can have laundry bags you can actually put in there. Because your laundry bag, especially if you have babies and you have a little feet and you got small socks, those small socks can get trapped inside of the drain pump inside the washing machine and cause further damages to the machine. If you have kids, of course, you know, their socks um, get stuck inside the laundry and stuff. I see that all the time. All right. Um, Small items can caught in the impeller at the bottom of the drum um, and brassier hooks can snag on other clothing or the drum. All right, so let's let this video rock. Um, again, it's a nice size tub. We really like the appliance. Like we try to get as much of video of the uh, washing machine as we can so that you guys will be able to see that as well. Um, really like it. Um, the way that it looks is really clean. This is where the light is up top. You can see here the drum light um, inside the machine as well. We really like that. And this is what the machine looks like. Really tough. All right, so this is a black steel. Again, you can also get it in a white steel. All right, so that's one of the things that we like um, about this particular machine. Right now, I think it's gonna probably go into the soap dispenser. And that's what we're gonna talk about a little bit there as well. So we can actually pause it so we can go into the soap dispenser. Is all right, so adding cleaning product. Add detergent use. This washer designed for use with hope with with only HE high efficiency detergent. HE detergent produces fewer suds, dissolve more efficiently to improve washing and rinsing performance and help to keep the interior of the washer clean. Using Detergent that is not HE may cause over sudsing and unsatisfactory performance, which could result in error codes, cycle failure, and washer damage. And this is actually true. It is proven because I've been out in the field, and yes, it has happened. You can damage it by using the incorrect soap. All right, detergent designated as HE compatible may not provide optimum results. All right, so you want to be careful with the soap. I know you have natural soap that you can use with all the added chemicals and stuff in there as well. So if you want to use that and you find one that's that you can use and that's good, continue to do that. 
But if you're having issues with your clothes being washed properly, you switch the soap, you might want to go back to the one of the soaps that they always recommend, like Tide, like Gain, stuff like that. That's probably best. All right. So you just want to keep that in mind. All right. So uh, we're going to use in the dispenser. All right. It says single use detergent packs. It says do not use more than one single use detergent pack in the washer. Using too much detergent may cause over sudden and unsatisfactory performance. I told somebody in my family just the other day using the Tide Pods and regular soap. I want my clothes to be clean. I, I'm just letting you know, hey, it's going to mess it up. <laughs> All right, reduce detergent amount or add an extra rinse if detergent residue is left on fabrics. To add an extra rinse, select the extra rinse. Place liquid or powder detergent packs in the drum before loading laundry. Do not place detergent packs in the dispenser. All right, do not put them in the dispenser. Just throw them in the machine. All right, using the dispenser to add cleaning products to the automatic dispenser. This is where it is. You have a max button. You have a fill. Of course, you have a number one is where it says pre-wash detergent compartment on some models. Number two, liquid detergent cup. Number three has the main wash detergent cup. Uh, number four, liquid fabric softener. So you want to make sure you put it in the right one. Uh, number five, of course, liquid bleach. All right. So that's that there. And what happens here, they try to give you a chart when you look at it and how to actually um, the, the uh, dispenser line. All right, so I'm gonna read it a little bit. Never use more than maximum amount of detergent recommended by the manufacturer. Using too much detergent can lead to over sudden. Poor rinsing, detergent buildup in clothing and residue building that can contribute to odors in the washer. One, maximal fill line, all right? And you have average load fill line and you have a liquid detergent all right so that's cool that you can use there as well all right so we like that um, we talked about the liquid bleach and operation so you can actually pause this portion of the video uh, main compartment main wash pre-wash detergent compartment so you can actually pause this you can see it you can read it it's going to be in the description box as well uh, we don't have to go that deeply in in that because we didn't talk about everything about this appliance as much as we can Again, if you want to be able to see that, you can. But we're coming to the conclusion of this LG Laundry Center. The functions and the features. It's about time we did this joint. It took us so long to find this information, man. But I'm glad we was able to find this. Of course, it's me, your boy, Richie Rich, at Consumer Prime Support. You already know what time it is, man. You help me. I help you. We both help each other. Till next time, subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here, man. Peace. Alright, so for this portion of the video, we're going to focus on our overall review and let you know exactly how we feel about this LG Wash Tower. Alright, we can start off right now by doing the price. How much it's going to cost you? Might cost you a little, might cost you a lot. Either way, it's going to cost you. Alright, right now you can actually get this appliance on sale from when we first shot this video about seven months ago. Right now it's about 1800 bucks. Roughly might be if it's not on sale about eight between 18 and 2400 bucks All right, so it depends on your local area depends on availability depends on the color for the black steel or the white You can get it about roughly about 1800 to about 2200 I would say about 24 including taxes and everything else All right, so as far as the price grade that we're going to give this appliance It's right about how much you will pay for a laundry center So the grade that we're going to give this unit is a three uno dos tres three all right let's talk about warranty 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 the manufacturer warranty man you are getting a good amount of warranty stuff here let's talk about the wash machine of course you got your standard one year manufacturer warranty both parts and labor you're also getting a three-year warranty on the stainless steel tub that that you actually put your clothes in the drum the metal drum that's a three-year parts only you're also getting a 10-year warranty on the stator and the rotor so this is the motor um, for the wash machine that you're getting replaced parts only that's for 10 years as well as far as the dryer of course you get the standard one-year manufacturer warranty and you also get a three-year warranty just a part on the dryer drum that typically tends to break on this particular model all right so as far as the warranty grade we really like it man so as far as that we're going to give it a five i got five on it one two three four five fifth got five let's talk about parts man all right cost per repair on this particular unit um it's going to cost you some bread 
Um, you're talking about some average price or average parts that typically go bad for this unit. You're talking about for the dryer, your heating element, pretty common for any dryer out there right now. When you're talking about the drum rollers that rotates the drum and allows the unit to spin, common issue there as well. The drive pulley that's connected to the belt. The belt sometimes pop on this model, just like any other uh, dryer that you have. Um, that's a common issue and the drive pulley also wears out or break as well. So that is a common issue there. Motor on this particular model, you might have a little bit of issue, but it's not, it's not a lot um, or often that this, this the motor actually shorts out, shorts out or burn out, whatever. You don't have that issue in this particular unit like that. So as far as everything else, just looking at my notes, man, that's all we have for the dryer. For the wash machine, it is a front load unit. So the drum tends to have a bracket that connects to the back of the inner drum. That tends to break often on all front load models. So it's not just an LG issue or anything like that. It happens to all front loaders. You're talking about for this specific machine though, you're talking about the water valve and solenoid is a common issue where it tends to leak. Um, it can also get clogged up or cause the machine to overfill or not fill up with enough water. That's one. You also have your drain pump. Man, on this particular model, the drain pump gives a lot of issues, allow it to eventually to wear down and break and you have to replace it. That's why it's very important you check what's in your pocket before you actually throw them into the laundry because that stuff damaged your machine. All right, but outside of that, man, again, everything else on this machine, we really like this machine. So the, the actual parts on this particular unit, um, one of the things we like the benefit, it doesn't cost a lot of money for LG parts for this specific unit because a lot of the parts are recycled from other appliances and they just incorporate it inside of this one. So the grade that we're gonna give to the parts, we're gonna give it a three. All right, because it's about average. All right, so that's cool there. All right, let's talk about my favorite part, functions and the features. Man, we love this. This machine is fully loaded. So let's talk about it for a second. Let me look at these notes. It's a lot of information. All right, so of course the wash machine has a tub clean cycle. Um, a lot of the machines are using that as well. You can also download additional cycles on top of the cycles that you already have with this particular machine. We really like that special feature that's only um, designated to the LG units. Now Samsung is doing it a little bit. And if you look, LG and Samsung appliances look quite similar. So it's like coming from the same place, but it is a little bit different. All right, let's talk about the smart appliance. It is a smart appliance as well. Remote start, Wi-Fi. Also has a, it also has a ThinQ app app that you can use that you can actually um, communicate with the washer or the dryer from the app. You can also set up um, schedule appointments for service and stuff like that as well. Um, you can of course remote start. You can get laundry stats and updates on the machine, notifications. So it's just like any other op app that you'll use but it's for your wash machine and I think that's pretty dope. We really like it. All right, what else we can see on here as well? It's a steam washer. All right, washing machine and steam washer, so that's awesome there. Let's talk about the actual AIDD indicator that it has. It says optimizing washing machine detecting load size and laundry characteristics. So you have an intelligence that's smart enough to be able to do all this by sensing the, um, the actual load size and the laundry characteristics. So that's pretty dope there. We like that. Um, it also has a sanitary right which is pretty good this day and age you want to make sure that your clothes are extremely clean so you have a sanitary cycles that you can use let's dive into the dryer man the dryer has reduced static you can reduce the static in your clothes a specific cycle for that it also has a it's a steam dryer you have steam fresh that reduces your wrinkles in your clothes we love that you um, as well um energy saver all right one of the awesome things on this particular uh dryer that we love it has a flow sense that detects the amount of um, the airflow coming from the dryer, if it's clogged up or not, or your vents need to be cleaned out, the dryer will tell you that. There's an indication on the actual machine. If you check out the functions and features portion of the video, the indication will tell you how clogged up your dryer is depending on the scale that's on the digital display. So we like that there. Man, you also have a lint status indicator. Bruh. So it's telling you when that your actual lint needs to be cleaned all right it tells you if the filter is missing or if it's clogged up so your machine is smart enough to indicate a lot of these things a lot of these issues that can save your home save your dryer from catching on fire because that's the normal number one cause of houses catching on fire is dryers they burn up a lot all right but outside of that man it is a lot we are done Woo! functions and features you know we're giving it a five man five all right so let's go over this real quick price three 
warranty, five parts, three functions and features, five total grade, man. We're looking at a 16 divided by four. It is a 4.0, all right? So as far as this appliance getting the grade of 4.0, I think that's a really good grade for this appliance. We will also recommend this appliance to work as well because we really, really like it. We like a lot of the functions and features that it has. We like this LG product. And again, the parts are available, so it's not an issue of getting certain parts. So we really like it. We really love it. The biggest issue is, of course, finding someone to work on it. And another big issue is uh, when the dryer or the wash machine has parts that's no longer available or it cannot be repaired, you are gonna be SOL. So you're gonna have to replace the whole unit. That's the only bad thing about it, but that's for every laundry center. But outside of that, of course, it's me, your boy, Richie Rich, at Consumer Appliance Support. You help me, I help you, we both help each other. Till next time, I'm out of here, man. Peace. Subscribe to the channel.